It was Absolutely. never his plan there, it for was his, his plan. people to be obligated and owing the world That's right. or anybody else. That's right. Jesus. I want my people debt free. Are you struggling with debt? Do you constantly think about your bills? Today, join Gloria Copeland and guest pastor George Pearsons as they begin a series on 10 days of walking in debt freedom. Next, on The Believer's Voice of Victory. Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Believer's Voice of Victory. Pastor George Pearsons is back with us. And you know, I'm sure you didn't miss any of these, but he's already done 100 broadcasts with me on prosperity and increase and blessing, hallelujah. So this is actually 101. 101. Glory to 101 God. 101 days. We've crossed over into the, to the second hundred of, of our prosperity broadcast together. And, so everybody uh, should be out of debt by now. Absolutely. Because we absolutely. started this how long ago? A year ago, We started maybe? this two years ago. Two years ago. Began two years ago in this. In fact, wouldn't it be good if they would send us their testimonies of I th I how believe they so. received? It's always encouraging to get testimonies yeah. from our partners, yeah. friends out there that are watching the broadcast and how this is changing their lives. That's right. It changed my life. My life has been changed. Good. You remember uh, when I first got here? Yes. 37 years I ago. You, you needed help. <laughs> help me, somebody. <laughs> help me. Uh, well, we're glad you came. Well, George. I was so thankful to come blessing. and to be here and to be a part of this ministry for all of these years. And I have been a student of Kenneth and Gloria Copeland and the Word of God, Praise and it has God. done me good. Tell everybody where you came from. Well, I don't think you're a Southern boy. <laughs> I came from Massachusetts. Massachusetts. And I, went, I think you've adapted very well to I, our I way have, of life. I have. I have adapted to the food here, which is delicious. Yes. I can say y'all and yes. not think twice about it. All right. And uh, I have That's really, I have come to love this place and to love my family, and I'm so thankful well, for you just, and Kenneth. Well, you've and, been a blessing. That's for sure. And. Uh, and I have prospered, and there have been great changes, and I know there have been great changes in your life as well. Gloria, ever since we started these broadcasts a couple of years ago, 250,000 people have downloaded Isn't that the awesome? notes Praise from God. This. Think about it. And this, think about as it. As Dad Clark used to say, <laughs> think, about, think about, it. about it. That is awesome. It is awesome. And no telling where they went from there. That's right, and we get testimonies from folks out there that are watching these prosperity broadcasts. And I'm excited about this particular series that you and I are going to do together because, first of all, this series that we're doing these two weeks, and we're calling it 10 Days of Debt Freedom. Amen. 10 Days of Debt Freedom. Yes, amen. And we'll be talking about this during the course of the broadcast, but uh, we'll talk about you and Kenneth and the quality decision that you two made mm -hmm. about getting out of debt. Yeah. We'll talk about the quality decision that Terry and I made about getting out of debt. And you and Kenneth have not been in debt since 1967. Glory to God. And Terry and I have been out of debt as well, and it is a wonderful place to be. I think, George, that they figured up if we'd have borrowed money on yes. everything we've done, yes. radio, television, buildings, land, yep. house, you yep. know, everything we've done, that the interest would have been Forty million dollars <laughs> in these years. That's a lot yeah, of years. Yeah. But that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. That did that stayed in the in the move of God it stayed and didn't in the get kingdom. put out. Gloria, as it's I was, awesome to think about. It's miraculous. It really is. And it there are really people is. all over the world that have taken the word and done the same that's thing, right. including George and Terry. How the headquarters you? building was finished in nineteen eighty eight and uh, we would still be paying on a 30-year mortgage. <laughs> and it, you know, how long did it take us to do it? It took us a while to it get it done. It took us a while to Paid get it cash. done. That's right. I, I don't remember how long, but, you know, it, it was slower than borrowing the money, but not slower than paying interest on all the money you know, Gloria, to do it. You know, Gloria, in 1978, the Lord gave, gave Brother Copeland a word. Uh, I was traveling with him at the time. He was teaching a series on healing, and, he, and the Lord spoke to him and said, I want my people well. 
Yeah. Do you remember that mm -hmm. when he, the mm -hmm. Lord gave him that word, I want my people well. Well, as I was praying over this series, I, I heard an audible word from the Lord about this. And he said, I want my people living debt free. Well, he's always had that plan. Always. It was Absolutely. never his plan there, it for his, his people plan. to be <clears throat> obligated and owing the world That's right. or anybody else. That's right. Jesus name. I want my people debt yeah. free. That's right. So you and I are going to take 10 days here together and we're going to preach the word, minister to you, and, and help you get out of debt. Amen. Well, you can see why if you just look back on the history of this ministry and we would have paid yeah. $40, million $40 million of all the income that's come in on the ministry to build, to do TV, to do everything. Right. It would have just gone. Right. And we didn't have to pay that because we believed God. And this is a day and an hour financially where we need to be out of debt. Oh, yeah. It's a day and an hour where it's, it's not going to pay to be in debt, but we can get out. I don't know, debt, you know, uh, borrowing money was pretty cheap back there when we started. It was, wasn't it? Compared to what it is it now. It was. It was. But it still ended up being 40, it would have been $40 million or over $40 mm -hmm. million dollars in interest. Mm -hmm. Isn't that awesome? Let me pray over this broadcast. Do that. And these broadcasts, and we'll be in agreement with you Amen. over your debt freedom. Yeah. Your debt freedom is in sight. It's here. It's in the Word. And we're going to walk it out together. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you for these broadcasts together. And mm -hmm. I thank you, Lord, that you do want your people debt free. You're so and there, good. there are ways to do it in the Word of God. There are ways that, that even in the midst of what seems to be impossible, there's a way to be debt free. Right. So we lay hold upon that. We thank you for it. And thank you for the unction of the Holy Spirit yes, to I'm bring sure. exactly, Lord, what you need to bring to your people through Praise us God. about their debt freedom. Yes, we depend on In you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Gloria, I'd like to start this, this morning. This is exciting. It is exciting. I'm, I, am, I am very excited about this. We'll start this morning today with a word from the Lord that Brother Copeland gave at the West Coast Believers Convention. This is July the 9th of 2007. And <clears throat> the reason I bring these words from the Lord is because we need to believe the things that the prophet says. And this word is perfect for what you and I are talking about Amen. in these two weeks. It says, the manifestation of the blessing is at, a, is at an all-time high. Mm -hmm. You are approaching a blessing manifestation of glory that is explosive in ways and intensity that the human race has never seen before. Now, Gloria, that's 2007. Here we are, 2007. 2013. And it said at that time, you're approaching, you're approaching a blessing manifestation. I believe we're here. Amen. I believe we're here. The blessing will surround you. The blessing will encase you. You will learn to walk in the secret place of the Most High, blessed in His blessing, blessed in His glory, blessed in your comings, blessed in your goings, Hallelujah. and blessed in your pocketbook. Amen. That's right. Now, glory to God. all of these notes, by the way, are available online. All the, the people, all they need to do is go to the homepage at kcm.org. There'll be a picture of you and me that says, uh, notes. They can click onto that and you can get these. Yeah. You can get them right away and follow the broadcast with us all That's these true. two weeks. Yeah. And I know you'd be honored and pleased if somebody wanted to preach them. If they to wanted to else. preach them, go right ahead. Have Glory at it. To God. We're, we're going to be sharing a testimony later in the week about uh, a couple who are pastors who have a Christian school in their church and they teach our 50 Days of Prosperity really? as a curriculum to fifth and sixth well, graders. Isn't that awesome? Aren't we honored? Praise so, God. All right. To what? Fifth and sixth graders. Fifth and sixth yes. graders. That went over me first, <laughs> and I thought, is that right? Cool. Fifth and sixth graders are learning. That's about our days. level, George, right there. <laughs> I thought we did better, but. Oh, uh, yes, that's, that's right. Well, it, we'll be, this is so easy and so simple that it is fifth simple. and sixth graders can get it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you, what's that show? Are you smarter than a yeah. fifth grader, yeah, sixth that's grader? It. <laughs> <laughs> well, blessed in your comings, blessed in your goings, blessed in your pocketbook. All debt will have to get up and leave yes. you the way that leprosy left the lepers of old. 
Hallelujah. Glory the Lord said, God. debt is financial sickness. It is financial leprosy. <laughs> it is an attempt to do with the world's monies and abilities what I created the blessing to do yeah, for you. That's right. Only it is a burden and not a blessing. Debt is part of the curse. Absolutely. If you begin to confess the word, you'll be shocked and thrilled at how quickly you'll have the glory arise and drive debt out of your life. If you'll bring your tithe to me and spend time with me, mm -hmm. tithing that tithe to me, I will teach you and I will train you and I will show you how to be debt free. I'll bless you beyond your means. I'll bless you beyond your income. I'll bless you beyond your salaries. I'll bless you beyond anything you've ever known before. I'll show you Praise things God. that you've never heard of before. You'll take advantage of those things and be financially blessed. I will bring such a financial blessing upon you that you won't have any idea where it came from. It has come to an explosive place. And I am ready, saith the Lord, if you'll begin to confess it, walk in it, make it a priority in your life, then the glory will manifest in your midst and you'll give me praise. Amen. I will come and visit you and together we will have a grand time. Together we will have a grand time. Well, well let me just throw this in. Yeah. At the beginning, I may do it again later. But okay. when we, uh, when Ken and I married, he had debts. Mm -hmm. And I married him and his, <laughs> his notes. He had bank notes and all different things. And I was so, you know, I was immature. I didn't even say, how much money do you owe anyway? But anyway. You were just, he, you were smitten. Oh, I was. And so he asked me to marry him on the first date, and I said, okay. That's <laughs> been over 50 years, so it worked out. But <clears throat> I, will, I don't advise you to do that. But anyway, he, our income was so almost nothing. Mm -hmm. And we were in debt when we saw when we got set on the Word, we said, we're going to do what the Word says, and then we saw in the Scripture it says, stay out of debt. Right, right. <clears throat> so it was a, you know, it was a heavy hit there. Yeah. What a, well, I wanted a house. <laughs> Ken wanted an airplane. He could live in his airplane as far as that goes. But <laughs> I wanted a house. And people didn't pay cash for a house yeah. in those days. But, you know, it'd be very rare to do that. So anyway, we said, well, that's what the Word says, and we're going to do it. Yeah. And so I'm just telling you that this, is, this was way, way, way back. Mm -hmm. And we got on mm -hmm. the Word of God and believed God to pay cash, and we have lacked for nothing. Praise God. Nothing. Glory to God. And that's the an Word inspiration. works. That's an inspiration to all of us. It was an inspiration. Your story was an inspiration for Terry and me to pursue that very same thing. Praise and God. And today, she and I live in a beautiful home, debt yes, free. Yes, we do. Praise God. Debt free. Well, that wouldn't have happened if you hadn't believed God. And but it was, all things are possible to all him things that are possible. Us. And it was a journey for us. And we believed God and we stood yeah. on the Word. And, yeah. and we continued to sow and give, to give our way out of debt. But, you know, there was something that was said in this word from the Lord. Debt is a part of the curse. It is. It's a part of the yeah, curse. Yeah, you can see that in Deuteronomy 28. That's right. And this scripture in Galatians chapter 3, <clears throat> it tells us that in 3.13, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree. Why? So that the blessing of so Abraham, the blessing. praise God for the blessing of Abraham, might come on the Gentiles, might come on us through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. We have been redeemed from the curse of the law. That's right. Absolutely. So that we can walk in the blessing of Abraham. And I'd like us to turn, if we could, over to Deuteronomy chapter 28. <clears throat> you know, Proverbs 10:22 tells us that the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he adds no sorrow to it. So in this broadcast today, we are discovering that, first of all, debt is part of the curse of the law. But you and I have been redeemed from the curse so that we can walk in the blessing of Abraham. And your debt freedom is part of the will of God for your life. That's it right. is God's will for you it to be debt free. It is a blessing. It oh, is a blessing. Oh, my, it's a blessing. It's a blessing from the Lord. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, <clears throat> this is a very, very uh, important scripture to me, to Terry, um, when we were married. 
Kenneth read the blessing over us. And we have walked in that blessing ever since. Amen. Verses 1 through 14 outlines the blessing of the Lord. Then verses 15 through 16, 68 rather, it is the curse of the Lord, curse of the law. So if we look at, first of all, look with me at verse 43. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 28, verse 43, and we're on page two of your notes there. Deuteronomy 28, and we're looking at verse 43, and this is part of the curse. It says, The stranger that is within thee will get up above thee very high, and you shall come down very low. He shall lend to you, and you shall not lend to him. He shall be the head, and you shall be the tail. Was that a good description of the situation? That, is, that was a very good description of <laughs> yeah. the situation. Amen. I remember. Debt is part of the curse. And I found something interesting. It's in our notes, Gloria. The word lend mm -hmm. in the Hebrew means twine or to unite. That's right. To bring together to cleave to or to join yourself to someone. Well, you have to sign, sign papers, sign contracts, sign <clears throat> obligations. I will pay this every month for uh, 40 years or whatever. That's when, exactly right. When Terry and I borrowed the money on one of the houses that we were going to be living in, they asked us every question mm -hmm. under the sun. They wanted to know how much we're making. They just wanted to make sure they were going to get their money. Yeah. And you felt that you, you were in submission to them now. You were being interrogated. You were, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you can picture, <clears throat> if you can picture in those old movies, the, the black and white movies of mm. the 40s when they used to interrogate somebody, yeah. they'd have a light shining. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and that's exactly the way you feel because the, the borrower is the servant you know of the lender. that they've got you where they want you. That's right. Right there. And you, if the Lord spoke to you and said, give the house, give the car, you couldn't do it until you asked them first. Oh, no. And yeah. most likely their until answer would be. Until you pay for it first. Yeah, until you pay for it. So, <clears throat> and then the word tail here, uh, where it says he'll be the head and not the, he, he will be the head and you shall be the tail. Mm -hmm. That's this very is very accurate. interesting. The word tail in the Hebrew is the word stump. No, really? Yeah. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. The word stump, the word tail means end, stump, and it also means to wag. It means to wag. To so the, wag. The, 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 the lender is the one who's basically wagging. The tail. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Every month. <clears throat> Send so, me my money. That's right. Every month. Every month. And you miss a couple of months? You miss a house. You're, you mi <laughs> you miss a house. The money you've got in it. But wow. then we have to Isn't look at. Something? Then we have to look at the blessing, though. Okay. The blessing <laughs> part of it. And if you look at verses 12 and 13. Good job. This is the blessing. The Lord shall open unto you His good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in His season, and to bless all the work of your hand. And you shall lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Thou shalt not borrow. Now, to me, that sounds like a command. It does. It does. Thou yeah, yeah, shalt and it, not borrow. He was talking to the nation as well. That's right. He was talking to the nation. You mm. hear about our national yeah. debt? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Did you hear we had a national debt? <laughs> I heard we had a national debt. Okay. But you know something? Our ministry is not in a national debt. No, thank our, God. Our household our is not. Our lives are not in a debt. And no. you know what? Your lives can be out of debt, That's too. Right. You need to begin believing that. That's right. Gloria, <clears throat> this is part of the blessing. And when it says you'll be the head, it says you'll be the top, the summit, the chief, the ruler. So that shows me that when we are in that state of borrowing, somebody else is the ruler. That's right. That's right. Somebody else is the chief. You've bowed down. You've bowed down. You've mm -hmm. bowed your knee. It was during the 30 days of glory, and we'll talk you about this. You bowed down to the curse. <clears throat> you bowed down to, this to the right curse. Here in Deuteronomy 28. This is serious business. Yes, it is. Gloria, in the, the um, 30 days of glory, 1998, 
and we'll talk about this as we go along. But you came to me one day, you said, George, what do you think it would be like if we had church every day for a month? So in September of 1998, we did it. 1998. 30 days it. of glory, and it was a powerful time. Leroy Thompson, Pastor Leroy was with us yes, preaching Money right. Cometh. Money Cometh to and, me now. But there was a message that Kenneth preached, and <clears throat> it's actually one of the messages in our offer for these two oh, weeks. Good. But he spent the whole time, it took two CDs. It was that long, but he talked about debt freedom. Praise and he God. said some things, Gloria, awesome. that just, just caused me to make a definitive decision about getting out of debt. And listen to one of the things okay. that he said. He said, borrowing is a replacement covenant. Oh, replacement covenant. Yeah. I didn't remember that term. It is going to someone else when you should have gone to God. Wow. I'm glad you found that quote. That's powerful. Isn't borrowing it? is a replacement covenant. In other words, you're choosing another covenant. You're choosing to another replace covenant. This one to replace this That says, he'll supply all of our needs yeah. according to his riches. Exactly. Glory. So, Gloria, what wow. you and I are going to do and what we're going to be doing together over these next two weeks is we're going to God. Amen. We're going to God. Amen. And, you know, I'll say this right now. Are we going to offer some of those things that... Good. Oh, have I got an offer? Have Ooh. I got an offer for you? Ooh, <laughs> hallelujah. Isn't that awesome? I'm so glad you found that. I didn't know he, that quote. I didn't remember that. And Gloria, on Friday, we're going to do something that Kenneth taught me to do, that you and Kenneth did, and that was called a quality decision. Mm -hmm. We're going to lead up to it on Friday, but let me tell you this right now. If you make a quality decision to get out of debt, and this is something that Kenneth really helped me on. He said, George, the moment you make a quality decision to get out of debt, God sees you debt free. Praise God. So That's he's it. working with us. So you could say you're one, one decision away, but there's a lot of strings there. Gloria, that's so good. But you're so one good. decision away you, from getting out of debt forever. I will say that to them. Okay. You are one decision away from your debt freedom. Glory to God. Oh, that felt good. Hallelujah. <laughs> I like that. Gloria, we're off to a great start here. I know it, George. You've already got me excited. Praise God. And we, George, uh, George and Terry know it. This works. We couldn't preach it if it hadn't worked. That's us, right. You know, it works. That's right. And it'll work for you. You're just one decision, decision away. away from debt freedom. George and I'll be right back. I like that. The scripture said he knew you and knew your name before the foundation of the world and he hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Come to a Kenneth Copeland Ministries event. Living Victory West Coast Faith Encounter, Anaheim, California, May 31st through June 1st with Kenneth Copeland and Dr. Stephen and Kelly Swisher. The 2013 Southwest Believers Convention, July 1st through 6th with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland and their special guests in Fort Worth, Texas. The Great Lakes Victory Campaign, August 15th through 17th with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland at the U.S. Cellular Arena in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The 2013 Venezuela Victory Campaign. Kenneth Copeland will be in Maracaibo, Venezuela, August 30th through 31st. Living Victory East Coast Faith Encounter, Atlanta, Georgia, September 13th through 14th with Kenneth Copeland and Dr. Stephen and Kelly Swisher. It's time to get out of debt. Pastor George Pearsons and Kenneth Copeland have put together an extensive 12 CD teaching series to help you discover God's debt freedom plan for you. With sessions on God has a plan for me, yield to the plan, not to the pressure. I have the ability to hear God's plan, and I am obedient to God's plan. You'll be taught how to receive God's wisdom and walk out His specific plan for your debt freedom. Discover that it's God's desire that you live free of debt. Understand God's reasons for living debt free. Learn to remove the burden of debt from your life. Settle the issues to take the limits off your fixed income and develop your personal strategic plan for debt freedom. Kenneth Copeland and Pastor George Pearsons have each walked out God's debt freedom plan in their life and are here to help you. You are one decision away from beginning a debt-free life. Make your quality decision today to live debt-free. Get in on God's debt freedom plan for you. Order It's Time to Get Out of Debt by Pastor George Pearsons and Kenneth Copeland 
now specially priced at only $29.99. Receive this 12 CD teaching at a 50% savings when you order your set today. Go to kcm.org slash TV special or call toll free 1-800-600-7395. It's time to get out of debt and live free. For an additional 10% off, order your copy online. Yeah, you know, I'm so excited about this series, Gloria. This, this series, I am too, George. this has been 15 years in the making. Praise God. And you can <clears throat> listen to these CDs. There are 12 of them. Get immersed in the Word of God. Get that word down on the inside about debt freedom. Every one of these CDs has to do with debt freedom. <clears throat> it's time to get out of debt. This is the first one that Kenneth preached that I latched onto and it got me going in the direction that I needed yeah. to go in. And here's one, it's called Step One, Make the Quality Decision. Yeah. Uh, three debt-free issues that must be settled. Here's another one, God has a plan for me. Praise God. Um, <clears throat> here's one, this, Kenneth taught this one, yield to the plan and not to the pressure. That's good, I like that title. That's a great one. And then I like this last one here, I actually taught this, how Kenneth and Gloria came out of debt. Oh, good. <laughs> Well, we certainly did it. <laughs> you certainly did I it. I married Kenneth Copeland in his notes. And now you guys... I didn't have any debt. You guys are debt-free. This, this is a debt freedom seminar, Amen. really. And I want you to get it. I want you to get a hold of it. It is I so want... awesome to be out of wow. debt. Wow. It is. It Besides is. that, you'll have a lot more money to spend. That's right. Because you're not paying interest. And you'll not have to give it to the boss. Oh, oh. you can keep your money. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Glory to God. So order your CDs today. Father, we pray for every person oh, listening you, to Jesus. these broadcasts. Thank you, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to give them direction that you'd have them to take right Praise now. God. And tell them what to do, how to do it. That's right. Inspire them, Lord. And we believe with everybody yes, thank that you, exactly Jesus. as they believe you, it will Thank be done Jesus. in it their lives, and we give you praise, praise and we give God. you all the thanksgiving, Lord, in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Next week, Ken will be in Anaheim, California, with Stephen Kelly in the Li Living Victory West Coast Faith Encounter. That's May the 31st and June the 1st. Uh, it's going to be a great time. We, we especially are thrilled at the part. It's a chance for the partners to come together and hear good messages. So plan to be there. Build your faith and increase your capacity to receive. God wants to prosper you. That's right. For more information, go to kcm.org. Day two, we're going to go into the reasons we must live debt free. This is Gloria Copeland and George Pearson's reminding you that Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. Go to kcm.org for free teaching and information available anytime at your convenience. Receive God's great grace abounding toward you and live in the blessing. Tomorrow on The Believer's Voice of Victory. And the more we know why we should be debt free according to the Word of God, the easier it is going to be to use our faith to be debt free.